Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm gonna discuss about how will you create your own custom shopping cart in PSU MySQL. This is our e-commerce system. With this e-commerce system, I will show you step by step. To create shopping cart, we need to store data into session. This is the temporary data. If you want permanently, we need to add the data into cookie. I will show you in session. Here is the, the HTML form add to cart. Um, we create add the products with the grouping with the product and we have information in the form as hidden. Add to cart, quantity, description, amount, name, product ID, and many others. Those are hidden. And button is open. I'm gonna click on button. The product has been added successfully. We can see our cart. So, how that added? Add header dot PSD from submit. We got the form data with form data class. And the data we submit in to the API at to card dot with the data. Add to cart here. We counted the how many cart. The cart is our session. If product ID, submitting product ID and session product ID is same, we will not add this the product into cart. Otherwise, we will add the requested product all the information will add here and with success you are showing the message the product has been added successfully here the product already is in the cart suppose i added the product already is in the cart I had another one that had a successfully error. So in this way we can make our card in very simple way. This is the card. We read data from session and we are doing loop with the HTML in our order system. Add orders, order read.
and right side. Cut. Index. Cut loop. Here, we are doing the loop. We are reading data from the card, counting here, and doing loop. Calculating the price, subtotal, different charge, total, total shifting charge, and entering data into our HTML with loop. We can update when update we are updating the quantity that's quantity. When remove we got the remove position. We are re-initializing the remove one with the next data. And finally, we are doing unset, the last one. Which one will be removed? If that match, we got the remove position doing loop and doing break. When we got the remove position with break, we start here remove position, we initialize the remove in data with next data doing loop, finally we unset. We can remove in this way. Now we we'll process the order. Keeping at this, we will insert data, doing information, we will insert data, finally, we will process the orders. Item will be saved, all the items will be saved. If referrals, we need to pay him. We are sending email both to the customer and to the seller. Some demo data here. Order has been completed successfully. Now we are going to see order. Here, all the information you can see. Transaction, keeping address with the data, giving information, this item, keeping cost, 
तो तारे माँ यूनिवर्सिटी चाटास इट कंप्लीटेड द बाय टाइम चेंज द कंप्लीटेड लाइक चाटास सो इन दिस वे वी कैन मेक द शॉपिंग कार्ट and we can do other process in PSU MySQL. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.